السلام عليكم everybody we start here uh, an exercise it's about uh, supremum infimum maximal elements and minimal elements so let us define a set this set uh, it's equal to 1 over 2 plus n over 2n plus 1 and 2 minus 1 over n plus 2 such that n is in the natural number starting from from zero. First, show that A is bounded. Second question, determine supremum of A and F infimum of A with the proofs, which means we have to use the characterization uh, property to uh, get to deal with the uh, supremum and infimum. <laughs> Sorry, the last question is, does A have maximum and or minimal elements? Uh, a solution, a proposed solution. <coughs> Sorry again. So we write A as the union of two sets, A1 and A index 2. A1, it's uh, of the form 1 over 2 plus n over 2 n plus 1 and in N index O, a natural number with zero. And A2 is two minus one over N plus two, N in N index O. A1 is bounded, why it is bounded? It is bounded since uh, for all N in N index O, we have one over two plus, plus N over two N plus one, uh, this is a strictly this is a strictly less than one this is a miss point mm -hmm. less than or equal x this is a miss point so we have just n over 2n plus 1 strictly less than 1 and it is greater than or equal to 1 over 2 here we have 1000 manner ways to uh, to justify what this is true so for all x of the a1, the x of the elements of uh, a1 uh, can be written as 1 over 2 plus n over 2 n plus 1. And for all this x, we have the uh, boldness. So it is strictly less than 1 and greater than or equal to 1 uh, over 2. Why it is greater than or equal to 1 over 2? Because we can find n from n index O. Uh, which is equal to zero such that uh, we get one over two. And otherwise for one, we have this is as a limit since it is a, a, a non-decreasing uh, sequences. Mm -hmm. So we have the supremum of A1 is equal to one and the infimum of A1 is equal to uh, uh, one, uh, one half. We didn't uh, finish yet. Why? Because we have to give a proof using characterization. This is just we guess. We are wondering that this is true. So we, we take a guess using logic and uh, mathematical uh, tools. Then we give the proof using the characterization. We uh, will do the same thing with A index 2, and we will find that this is bounded by 3 over 2 and 2. This is a non-increasing sequences. For the first term, if we replace n by 0, we will get 3 over 2. <laughs> and when n goes to uh, plus infinity, this is a non-increasing uh, sequence. And then we get the limit 2. But there is no n in n such that we get exactly 2. <laughs> so, for this, we find that A2, the supremum of A2 is equal to 2, and the infimum is equal to 3 over 2. Then we will proceed, then we will give this by, by characterization property. So, to, uh, to prove that 2 is, to prove that for A2, to prove that 2 is the supremum, so we should prove the characterization. First of all, for all x in A2, x is less than 2. 
second uh, condition, we should show that for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists an element from A2. Here we have I miss two. Uh, A2, so sorry, A2, such that X epsilon is greater than two minus epsilon. This is the characterization. So X is greater than two minus epsilon. X epsilon can be written in this form. So two minus one over N plus two greater than two minus epsilon, which is equivalent with N greater than one, one over epsilon minus two. In this case, in this case, for any epsilon greater than zero, we can choose an epsilon from n zero satisfying this formula since, since R is an Archimedean set. So this natural number must exist. And in all the cases, we win to find an n epsilon such that this, this uh, formula is true, which means that for all epsilon greater than zero, and here uh, for sure we care about epsilon um, little small enough. Why? Because for epsilon um, greet the formula is uh, is uh, simply verified. So therefore, the supremum of a two is equal to two, and we do uh, the same thing with a uh, two about the infimum. So we verify that for x for all x in a two we have x greater than or equal to three over two. Then we use the characterization in the uh, supremum characterization, we have minus epsilon and in the uh, infimum characterization, we have plus epsilon. So can we find for all epsilon greater than zero, can we find an element from n such that x epsilon is less than three over two plus epsilon and greater than or equal to three over two. This is the characterization. So here, we take epsilon between zero and one half. In this case, we can transform this inequality to this one because x takes the form, this form, this form, sorry, this form. And we should prove that we can find n such that this n is less than this quantity. In this case, actually, we can find n epsilon less than 1 over 0 dot 5 minus epsilon minus 2. <laughs> epsilon, sorry, again, once again. So epsilon is between 0 and 1 half. We can find a natural number such that x epsilon belongs to A2. For epsilon greater than one uh, half, greater than or equal to one half, the inequality is uh, trivial. It is simply verified. So in this case, we say that A2 is equal to three over two. We can repeat step by step this proof uh, with respect to A1 but we have a well-known result, which is the supremum of the union is the maximum of the supremum of A1 and the supremum of A2. And the infimum of the union is the minimum between the infimum of A1 and the infimum of A2. So using this formula, we get the supremum equal to two and the infimum equal to one half. About the, uh, the infimum, is it a minimum? Yes, the answer is positive. Why? Because we can find an element value for n such that this element be belongs to a. And the value of uh, n is zero. So one over two is equal to one over two plus zero over two times zero plus one which means that the infimum exists and belongs and belongs to A. This 
since it exists and belongs to A, this means that the amphimum is equal to the minimum. For the supremum, about the maximum, can we find N from N O such that this is equal to two? Actually, this cannot be possible since we need to uh, find N such that one over N plus two is equal to zero. This is not possible, which is a contradiction. Uh, so uh, the maximum does not exist. This finishes this video. 